14, 1926. The dream of a local brewery opening an opera house in this lovely town of Bridport finally comes true as this place opens its doors for the first time. I'm honored to say that nearly a hundred years later, and we're still able to watch things here. Welcome to the Bridport Electric Palace. As you can see, it's kept its beautiful Art Deco style throughout the years, which gives it a feel of class and charm. And I mean, it just, it just generally looks quite cool. Um, first order of business, obviously, is to get my tickets for both nights. Uh, thank you very much. And I'll tell you more about the events we're watching. But first of all, I want to pour your attention to these beautiful posters here. As you can see, each one signed by the artist that performed. It's almost a nice piece of memorabilia for the Electric Palace. It makes for a lovely bit of a collection here. And it's safe to say, I would definitely be walking 500 miles to come back. And if we come through here, you'll see the second area of the lobby, which is almost just as stunning as the first with the beautiful floral patterns that are laden on every single area of it. This will be the perfect time to talk about what these two tickets will be for. At 5 p.m., there will be a discussion with broadcaster Francine Stock and playwright and screenwriter Christopher Hampton, who will be talking about from stage to screen adaptations in detail. And at 8 p.m., what I'm most excited for is I'll be screening The Sun, a sequel to one of my favourite films of the year that it came out, The Father. Now, where will these be taking place? I'm wondering that as well. And through those doors there, our answers will be told. Let's go have a look. Oh, wow. Um, this is amazing. I mean, like, I, I love to crack jokes and be funny and have a laugh sometimes, but sometimes I really just like to take stuff in, like, like this moment. I mean, look. I was told that this was a this was an opera house. It was built to be an opera house, but you don't really get a sense of that grandiosity and that beauty until you're actually stood in the heart of it. And speaking of the heart, once you're in here, you kind of realise why this place has become the heart of the cultural arts in Bridport, because it really does signify just artistic beauty of the highest degree. And all I can really say now is. So I'm going to go enjoy the discussion and the sun. I hope you both enjoy too. It's a joy to be here to discuss some of his work. In fact, we've got a series of clips which we're going to talk about, so you know we can all have sort of ideas about it um, of adaptations. The thing about my first this first play, which was called When Did You Last See My Mother, uh, the film rights got bored, and I was hired to write the screenplay. And it took a long time for me to work out the differences. This is really what we're going to talk about, I think, mostly this afternoon, the differences between writing for the stage and, and writing for the screen. This is what the cinema allows you to do, which you can't do on stage. Um, fluidity, moving from one scene to another. Um, it's an illusion, however, to, it's an illusion to think that that freedom makes it any easier to write films than it does to write plays. I mean, it's an absolute joy that we've been able to show today clips from both your first Oscar and your latest Oscar-winning film. <laughs> and many others, and, and more to come, let's hope. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Thanks, Christopher. Thanks, Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, it was a, a, a story which was very personal. So he has a stepson and, a, and his own son. And the stepson went through a terrible period of teenage depression and tried to commit suicide when he was 16, I think. This was much the most personal thing that Florian had ever written. And, and it was the, it was a, it's a relatively recent play. This subject was always very, very close to Florian's heart. I remember talking to Hugh Jackman um, a few months ago and, and him saying that he'd actually lobbied for the role. He'd, he'd heard, heard about it. Um, yes, actually, he, he, he wrote to, uh, because he'd seen The Father and he liked it so much, he, and he wrote to Florian and said, look, I, 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 you may have someone else in mind altogether, but I would love to do this. Thank you very much indeed for, um, for all your questions and Christopher, for your splendid work. Thanks, thank you very much.